Hey, y'all. Today's lesson is about asthma and breathing. Asthma is a respiratory condition marked by spasms in the bronchi of the lungs, causing difficulty breathing. When you have asthma, simple everyday breathing can be a struggle due to this chronic disease affecting your airways. The walls of the airways of someone with asthma can often be sore and swollen, making them very sensitive. These airways may react to things you are allergic to or find irritating, such as cigarette smoke, cold air, dust, pollen, mold, and animal hair. Certain foods like eggs, nuts, shellfish, milk, wheat, soy, and citrus fruits can trigger a reaction. Pesticide residues and food additives as well. Even a thunderstorm may trigger an attack due to the culprit grass pollen and other airborne allergens stirred up by the wind and rain. Exposure to industrial chemicals, copier dust, and cigarette smoke in the work environment can also trigger an attack. Some methods that can be taken to asthma proofing your home are dust frequently with specialty treated cloth that prevents dust from scattering. Remove all carpeting. Encase your mattress, box spring, and pillows in airtight vinyl covers. This helps get rid of dust and dust mites, which can trigger an asthma attack. Eliminate water leaks and other sources of humidity. Consider purchasing a high efficiency particle arresting air filter. Considering getting rid of houseplants. While plants themselves are not a problem, plant soil often contain mold, which can trigger an asthma attack. Deficiencies in magnesium, vitamin C and A, and other antioxidant nutrients can be a contributing factor in many cases. Many asthmatics notice a swift reduction in symptoms by eating antioxidant foods like broccoli, cauliflower, squash, carrots, garlic, and onions. There are nutrients found in common foods such as tomatoes, tomato juice, watermelon, guava, apples, cherries, cranberries, spring onions, kiwi, artichokes, blueberries, and sweet peppers, coffee, black and green tea, and chocolate are all things that may aid in the helping you breathe easier. Traditionally, doctors have advised people to drink one cup of strong coffee at the onset of an asthma attack if one's usual medications aren't available. One study suggests that adult asthmatics who drink several cups of coffee daily have 30% fewer asthma attacks than those who aren't coffee drinkers. Six natural herbs that can help in the reduction of asthma attacks, as well as help to ease breathing, are Visnaga, Lobelia, Thyme, Nettle, Echinacea and pill bearing spurge. Number one, Visnaga. Visnaga is better known for its medicinal purposes rather than its culinary value. Visnaga contains kelin, in which particularly safe pharmaceutical drugs for the treatment of asthma have been derived. Research in the mid 1900s revealed that the kelin in Visnaga has a powerful antismotic action on the smaller bronchial muscles. Visnaga's ability to relax the small bronchi usually lasts up to six hours, and the plant has practically no side effects. Although it does not always relieve acute asthma attacks, it does help to prevent their reoccurrence. Visnaga can be taken as an infusion or a powder. Number two, Lobelia. Lobelia is known as a powerful anti used for respiratory and muscle disorders. Lobelia is valuable for asthma, particularly bronchial asthma and chronic bronchitis. It helps to relax the muscles of the smaller bronchial tubes, therefore opening the airways and promoting the coughing up of phlegm. Lobelia can be taken as an infusion, tincture, or tablet. Number three, thyme. In the early to mid 1600s, thyme was referred to as a notable strengthener of the lungs. It is an excellent antiseptic and tonic and today is still used as a respiratory remedy. Thyme is usually prescribed with other herbs for asthma because its invigorating qualities balance the sedative effect of many herbs used for asthma. Thyme can be taken as an essential oil, infusion, syrup, tincture, or even eaten with food. Number four, nettle. Nettle is an anti-allergenic and may help in easing the conditions of asthma. It can be taken as a decoction, capsule, infusion, or tincture. Number five, echinacea. Echinacea is also a very helpful remedy in treating allergies such as asthma. It can be taken as a tincture, tablet, or capsule. Number six, 
Pill Bearing Spurge. It's nicknamed the asthma plant suggests this plant was traditionally used in Asia to treat asthma. Pill Bearing Spurge has been used as a specific treatment for bronchial asthma. It relaxes the bronchial tubes and eases breathing. Being a mild sedative and expectorant, it has also been taken for bronchitis and other respiratory tract conditions. Pill Bearing Spurge may be taken as an infusion or a tincture. So till next time, let's keep growing.